Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario on the Thousand Year Door when we last left off. We had just finished our Peach event and Bowser event and gotten a letter from Princess Peach, and so we we're in the. We just finished reading it. So let's continue on from there. Wow, you got a mail from the prin from Princess. That's so cool. So anyway, she's unhurt. That's good at least. Yeah. But I didn't like the sound of those kidnappers looking for the crystal stars as well. As well. Oh wow, I'm not getting any slowdown on my computer for once. Whoa. No, I do not wish to fight you. I have nothing to talk about. No, I do not. I have nothing to talk. Nothing to talk about. No. Up. Oh. Okay, there we go. No, no. Yeah, there we go. Oh, right. So we're heading back to the Roquefort sewers. No. Whoa, that was close. I did not think I was going to make that. Oh, come on, Coops. Sure, you're a turtle, but you can at least jump, right? No. Whoa, that was close. Uh, where does... That? Oh, okay, yeah, that just leads over there. Wait, uh, I think there's a... Oh, jeez. Okay, I'll just check over... No, go through the bars. Let's just check over here real quick, because I think... I'm, I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure that there's a shine sprite uh, in this... Uh, back here in this tiny little shack no no that's mer is that merlevery mervly or something like that i can't quite remember what her name is it's not merly or at least the fortune teller who tells you where all your stuff is no it's in the other shack that you can't get to just yet um yeah so you just go over here and this is the thing about the the paper ability you can just squeeze through the bars and it makes everything go a lot faster so you don't have to wait for platforms or anything uh... so you go down here nothing in there so then you go in here yeah <sighs> okay oh no not, he's not there yet uh... no okay good then you go up 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 and you turn into a paper airplane. I wish I had stuff to talk about. My my commentary sucks right now. Although that's not saying like maybe my other commentary was better. Uh, so here we are back in the chamber. I'm gonna go through here because you can definitely get a next shine sprite. So you go over here and you turn to your airplane like I just did, and you float yourself over over here. Yep, back up here. Ow. That must have hurt Mario's skull. And there is your next shine sprite. I call it the next because I don't know which we're at. So I'm just going to nosedive. For oh, that would have been so neat if I landed right on it. So yeah, I'll show you what, uh, what I meant before on uh, number two or three or whatever. It doesn't do the shot where, it's, where the camera starts spinning around Mario anymore, which is too bad because I really like that shot. Yeah, see, it just, it, the, the camera's just stationary, and it just, like, floats up above Mario, which, which is too bad, because I like the shot of where it spins around Mario, and I just like all that, but it still does the cool little sticky note thing, where, where, once you find the next location of your crystal star, it will, like, un, un like, it will, like, fly away, like, there's sticky notes peeling off the, the place. I was laying in bed last night, and it took me, like, five minutes to figure out which uh where you go for chapter six i'm, I'm laying there in bed i'm like oh where do i go you go like here for chapter two here for chapter three here for chapter four here for, here for chapter five chapter seven you go there chapter eight that's uh that's behind that thousand year door obviously and i'm like where do you go for chapter six and then eventually it dawned on me i'm like oh that's where i go but i don't even have a clue where that is Chapter 2 is probably my least favorite chapter of all. I don't really enjoy it that much. It's not. I don't find it very fun. I think we should take it to Professor Franklin and let him look at it. I think it's because... Well, I'll talk about it when we get there. Hopefully, I won't forget. But um, you just have to carry a lot of things around with you. People who've played this game before, I'm sure I know who I'm talking about or what I'm talking about. But I just don't like it that much. It's my least favorite. Chapter 3 is my absolute... Hey, I, uh, I saw that. Eee. So can you tell us where the next crystal star is or not? 
those those little orbs up in the top right corner once the the text box go away that i think that's a hint for uh for the next chapter chapter two it's in boggly woods the second crystal star is inside the great tree there a great tree in boggly woods huh about those woods i think some odd creatures live there the punies if memory serves there's a lot there's a pipe beneath the town that leads to those woods uh professor frankly you should probably know it's about princess peach mr mario uh got an email from her just recently her highness said that the guy who kidnapped her are also hunting the crystal stars oh and she said she doesn't even know where she's being held yeah uh oh if the princess peach's kidnappers are also looking for the crystal stars what could they hope to achieve could the treasure be ah uh, too many unknowns unfortunately the only clues we can rely on are the crystal stars in that map Oh man, I'm burping a lot today. Uh, I guess all we can do is head to Boggly Woods and find that next crystal star. Yes, I recommend you ju do just that, and I find and find it before the princess captors princesses captors do. Oh man, uh, but don't be hasty. If you're low on items or health, just drop by the inn and the sh and the. Sh I'll keep searching to learn more about the crystal stars and the ancient treasure. So yeah, you see those orbs right up here. Uh, you, I'm pretty sure that that's the same, like, sort of cycle, um, order that you have to put things in. It's Luigi, uh, to, to get, to your next sort of power-up. Hey, big brother, fancy meeting you here. What a coinky dink What are you doing here, Luigi? Well, bro, I'm on an adventure to, to have, uh, rescue Princess Eclair from the Waffle Kingdom. Waffles are good. I love waffles, but I like bagels more. I could eat a bagel every day for the rest of my life and not be upset. Uh, it's a big, it's a bad scene, alright. She's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. All the places in his world have to do with food, except for Rogueport. Uh, if you gotta know, I met with some Waffle Kingdom cabinet me members the other day. It was pretty crazy, bro. Do you want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Might as well. I always talk to Luigi about these things. Waffle Kingdom letter. It's a really long story. This, this might push me over 15 minutes, but here we go. My big brother, that's you, bro. From, I got a letter from Princess Peach and took off. Left behind as usual, I uh, I was cooking a snack at home when another letter arrived. We don't get some uh, we don't get so much mail, so I was thinking, huh? This is a letter. This is what the letter said. Sirs, my name is Crep. <laughs> I am a cabinet min cabinet minister in the far off Waffle Kingdom. Our land has been attacked by the Chestnut King, who took our princess as Claire. Uh, I ask, nay, beg for your assistance. The Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. I humbly request your prompt uh, responses, sir. Sincerely, Crep. Well, I don't remember it exactly, but I think it went something like that. With Mario, that's you, bro, gone, it fell to me to answer the plea. Hesitating, only a teensy bit, I headed to the Waffle Kingdom to investigate. Oh no, first I wrote a note to myself about what I was cooking, then I left. Once I reached the Waffle Kingdom, I met uh, Minister Crep, who filled me in. The Chestnut King had kin had kidnapped Princess Eclair and vanished. Apparently, though, some oracle said a marvelous compass would locate her. This marvelous compass had been broken into seven parts by an ancient curse, and those parts had been scattered across the land. Can you believe it, bro? Each part of the marvelous compass was said to point to the next. And since one of these parts was embedded in the tiara worn by the princess, I summarized that once I collected all the parts, I'd find her. Smart, huh? The ministers gave me the compass base uh, spoken in in the waffle or fables. Uh, when it activated the entire when it activated the entire thing let right up, indicating the deep south. It was pointing me toward Rumble Bump Volcano in the on the Pudding Continent. So yeah, here I am. I'm sailing out of Rogueport for Rumble Bump Volcano, and it's probably going to be pretty dangerous. But I got to rescue that princess. So that was it, and I love listening to that. Uh, and every time you finish a chapter, he will always be there to uh, to fill you in. Actually, let's just... I'm pretty sure we can beat this guy now. So I'm going to uh, uh, bring out uh, Gumbella here just so I can tattle on him. But, whoa, 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 hold up. You're an outsider. Past this point, it's, uh, ten coins. Uh, I can take you. What? You gotta be kidding. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm going to make you eat your those words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Bring it on, Gus. I think his name is Gus. Attack. Tattle. Yeah, Gus. Stylish. That's Gus. He's a super annoying and tries to take tolls from everybody. 
His max HP is 20, attack is 3, and defense is 0. In all, he's pretty tough. Oh, and I've told you a million times, that pony spear, it, it hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. Uh, okay, he's got a mushroom, so... Oh, I have too much stuff, I couldn't pick it up. So I'm gonna switch for Koops, just because his defense is so high. Nice, only one. But, yeah, he's pretty simple. Just as long as you've got Koops out front. I think he can throw a spear, which can which can eventually end up attacking you. But just as long as you keep doing this, you're... You're good as gold. Come on. Oh, I thought I'd get them all. Oh, jeez, I can... That, I can almost never block. I think I may have blocked it once. Oh, I'm being so unlucky with that lately. Okay, so I'll shell toss again. He says pretty. Uh, he says something pretty funny at the end after you beat him. Do, 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 do. Yeah, like I said uh, in the first video, I love the music in this game. Like right now, I'm just, I'm just like rocking out to it. I'm like shaking my head and I'm dancing around. No, I'm not really doing that. But it would be. I think it would be funny if I did. Don't you think? I wanna, I wanna be funny. Bring it on, Gus. I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. Bring it on, Gus. What? Yeah, see, like that. He threw a spear. Stylish, stylish. Uh, might as well do a power smash. Bring him down. Three. Boom! 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 Yeah, there we go. 20 star points. So now that we've beaten him, we've beaten Gus. Uh, crud, you dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff off. It's ridiculous. You think Violet solves everything, don't you, huh? Don't you? So then he runs away, and now we can walk through here whenever we want. So that's pretty handy. Is this door locked or... Yeah, it's locked, so... I thought you might be able to walk in there uh, right now, but you can't. So we go down here. And you remember that little thing that we saw when we were first coming down to the to the thousand year door? We didn't know what it was, but yeah, yeah, slink through there. I keep saying slink because when my sister uh, first got her cat, it used to be so afraid of everyone that it would start like slinking away. It was actually pretty funny, but he's pretty comfortable around everybody now. He doesn't slink; he runs if he's afraid. So yeah, those things. So it slinks into the wall. Did you see that? That was one of those things Professor Frankly mentioned. Yeah, let's follow it. Oh, it's a good thing we got cursed so we can fit through these bars. <laughs> oh no! See, I told you. You didn't say. You didn't say. Uh, you said wet shirt hold together, not piss shirt bend bar. Wow, that that would have been so much funnier if I didn't pause to to think of that. Don't eat me. I won't eat you. You didn't come to eat me. And you're not bullies? <laughs> Guess again, nerd. Of course not. For real? Phew, boy, that's good. I thought for a second I might have had an accident. Uh, aren't you one of those creatures from Bugly Woods? Why are you down here? What, what? Wh uh, why do you know about me? No, you, you must be... You're the guys working for those X-Nots, aren't you? You chased me here. No, it is the end. X-Nots? What the heck are those? Sounds like tissues. Or some ex or the or to the extreme or something. Uh, look, we're not here to do anything to you, so relax. Tell us what's going on, okay? Well, okay, this is kind of, uh, this is gangs of bad guys who call themselves the x uh, come from where I live. Oh, crap. Uh, they came inside our great tree and so, uh, looking for help. So he's looking for help. Uh, come on, hurry up. Uh, you just don't know. Oh, man, I'm gonna have to cut this here. Well, not here, but I'm hitting 14 minutes, and YouTube will not let me go over 15 minutes, so. So, I'm gonna have to cut it here, which sucks. Either that or speed something up, or cut something out, but, um. But, uh, yeah. I didn't, I didn't want to do, like, another video today, but, uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to, so, uh. So, uh. I think I am going to stop it here, and I will see you guys later.